Hey guys, it's Dark with Talking About FPV, and today marks the first day. So this is May 31st, the day after uh, Memorial Day, and this is the first day that we are officially now, everything has been moved here to the house. Um, we are back. I mean, it is awesome. The printers have been running nonstop. I just got done cutting a bunch of carbon fiber. Uh, I will tell you that for those of you that have been waiting for us to get ready to get on your project of some sort, uh, we are, uh, it is now happening as of today. So today marks day one that uh, things are back to normal. Uh, we had a crazy sale. It's still going on with whatever's left. Um, and we are gearing up for our next uh, big order uh, that's coming in. In either case, so I tell you what, right now what I'm doing though is I am getting, and you can see my messy desk here, it's been a little crazy, but I am just finishing this uh, build here, this frame. This is the um, Quattro, as you can tell, but it's been modified. Uh, this came uh, at a request of a customer, uh, Bob Griffith, uh, Robert Griffith. Um, he asked to have this done in a two millimeter size. I actually videoed the cutting and I'll be putting that up later. Um, it's been a work in progress. Hey babe, I'm on a video by the way, just to let you know. Yeah, very um, funny. What were those receivers for that one guy that got lost? Is it RXSR? RXSR. He, RXSR. Uh, he said RXSRs. They are RXSRs? Yeah. Okay, and there's four? I believe so, yeah. Okay, I'll check the order. I'll stop by the way. I'll stop at the shop on the way home. You don't have to do that. We can do it tomorrow. It's no big deal. Well, I just, it'll take me five seconds, and that way you can get them done. Okay. The Sounds good, babe. All right. Love All right, you. love you. Bye. All right, well, there you go. See, she's even kicking butt. Uh, so she's with my son, Jaden, right now. They're having some fun. Uh, we have the boys this week, so it is our time to just kick butt and have a blast with them. Uh, anyway, so this is the, uh, uh, the Quattro Mini, the three-inch version. However, he asked to have it put down onto a two-millimeter thick frame instead of a three-millimeter thick frame, and he asked to have the arms uh, stretched just enough to fit a three-inch prop without hitting... Uh, some of the uh, pieces in the way and anyways long story short is I stretched the arms out by five millimeters uh, This must not be I'm not sure why that must be a little too long of a screw. I need to go to a Eight mil in the back because we're not running any TPU on the bottom there. Bear with me a second guys. Sorry uh, So eight mil is right here Anyways, um, so it's a super light frame and he's, he wanted to specifically have this done so that it would be super light. So the top plate and bottom plate are um, two millimeters thick uh, and uh, should be pretty stable. He's putting very tiny motors on here from what I understand. Um, and so I'm just getting ready to put all this together. I figured I'd show you guys how it came out. This is it. Uh, and it looks pretty neat. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Uh, it's going to be a super low profile, super light frame. Uh, so let me just see. I think the standoff over here. I'm just trying to pair it up with what's on the uh, piece here now. Okay. So I'll put this one here. And this one here. Obviously, normally you would have uh, something holding this as well. On the back of this but there's nothing mounted right now so once something gets mounted then these screws would go in place but I'm not gonna put anything in there because he's got to put his 20 by 20 mounting first so let's do that right there that right there and then we're going to take our camera mount slide that in right there just like that and then the top plate and this sucker is light I mean holy moly so yeah, that's super light. That's really awesome. Actually, this is gonna go up here. Right here. I remember, we, I forgot, we moved these so that we gave more room for the components in the back. So let me put this here. Then what I'll do with this one. Oops. 
Yes, the dogs are going out. Just like this, right? And then, um, yeah, I've got to, I uh, guess I'll put a couple of screws here just to hold these in place. I'll use these little uh, rubber washers here. I think those are, oh, you know what? Those might not be small enough. Hold on. Maybe I won't worry about that. I'll just put two in the back, just like that. There we go. All right. Put the top plate on. came out pretty solid. I'm pretty happy about that. Now you don't have to put standoffs everywhere like I have. These two right here are not necessary if you've got these. So you can eliminate if you want, but I'm putting them in here just because. Make sure my dog doesn't get too far. She tends to get lost out there. There we go. We'll get a weight on that one in a second. Put the second one together here. Make sure everything's cleaned up. Give me a heart attack, dog. One, two, and three. Oh. Sorry, guys, just have to make sure <laughs> all three dogs were accounted for. My neighbors are getting a pool next door, and so they like to go and kind of get lost over there, and don't want them getting lost and not being found again. So, all right, anyway, so let's finish this one up.
Alright, there we go. Two more. slide this piece on just like that. Let's get our top plate. Get it lined up. All right. Pretty tiny frame. Let's see what it weighs. Uh, I do not have a flat surface for this. Let me see if I can just slide this over maybe. Let's see what I get. Ready? Grams? Uh, I don't remember what the original one was. A little bit more than that, I know. So 40 grams for the Quattro series. It's pretty light. This should be pretty interesting. Uh, I think it's going to do pretty well, actually. So there you go, uh, Bob Griffith, Robert Griffith. Hope you enjoy these. You have been waiting a very long time for me to get these done, and I appreciate your patience. I'm actually going to change these screws out with these button screws. Should not have socket screws on the top, so I'll do that for you. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to get both of these out the door. Uh, and this new design is actually going to become one of our standard designs. So if anybody needs something like this, if you need one and you want to fly an ultralight uh, like that, um, then this would be the way to go. It still has the, it's still got a great deal of strength with our design. Uh, so I, I'm very confident in the design. But those modifications that Robert asked for do make sense. Uh, and they were things that the uh, elongating of the arms by about five millimeters was something we were looking to anyway 
So when he made the request, it just seemed like, you know what, might as well go ahead and knock that out. So we did that and then made the arms a little wider so that they could handle the stress. So overall, it should be pretty neat. I may end up building something out of one of these myself uh, to give it a test. Now I don't have to be at the shop. I can fly here, man. It's easy for me to just step outside and fly and get back in. Uh, so uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm just getting the last of this in here, but here, I'll stop the video here. Let me just do this. All right, so there you go. There it is, Robert. Hope you have a good time with it, guys. Um, as you know, I'm back to doing what I love, which is being here. As you can see, the baseball cards behind me. You love to do that, too. Uh, got my boys here this week, so we're going to be having some fun. I uh, hope you guys are having a good time, too. It's summertime now, so go have fun with your kids, your family, whatever it is you're going to do. Go on vacations. Make memories. Most of all, go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. Robert Griffith, these are heading your way, buddy. Have fun, and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Okay, bye.